Welcome to Tuesday's CAD Geek Post with Inventor, and again we're going to be exploring design accelerators. In this case we're going to still use our design, which we have uh, already created the belt and pulley mechanisms as well as the shafts. And today we're actually going to uh, take a look at um, adding some bolted connections. So we'll go zoom up here and minimize a couple of these items so that we can take a look at them. And what we're going to do is place a bolted connection along the bottom of this. So if we take a look at you can see that this item um, already has its holes in it, uh, but the corresponding item that maybe we wanted to tap into um, does not. So we're going to go ahead and flip over to our design accelerators and use the bolted connection. So a couple options we have here, just like placing a hole, is concentric. So we can go ahead and can select anything that's concentric. Um, some linear applications, on point, or in this case, um, we're going to use the by hole. So our start plane is going to be um, at the start, and then the existing hole we're going to select is uh, this guy right here, and then the termination plane, uh, we'll just make it down here at the bottom. And you can see once I've done that, it automatically will add a hole. Um, I also have the option, since this is a pattern, to follow the pattern, and it will go ahead and uh, follow that pattern uh, all along this uh, item that I have here. So with that, we can also change. Um, it automatically detected the hole size, 6 millimeter. And in this case, put a clearance hole on there uh, for us. So we're going to go ahead and add um, our connection. So if I just go ahead and select one, notice it again selects the M6 hole um, for me and uh, a length based on the other plane that I uh, selected. So it's barely protruding fast. And then notice again the intelligence here of um, once I go place another component, um, it actually goes from uh, bolt to washer, um, etc. Uh, and then I can actually switch over to um, maybe showing something else in a different type of standard that I wanted to, uh, maybe a lock washer, uh, etc. So I have the ability to go ahead and you know grab any of these um, and place them in there. I would also have the ability to go ahead and uh, add or change this um, to, instead of being a clearance hole to maybe a tapped hole. Or I can go ahead and add fasteners on the bottom of this as well. So uh, maybe another washer. Again, taking note that the bolt itself grows a little bit. And then maybe I want to put a nut on the back of this. And again, notice how it intelligently picked this is that, you know, before the, or before the hole or after the hole, um, it gave me the intelligence of kind of uh, anticipating what I was going to put in there as far as uh, washers and nuts, etc. So once I have that in there, you can see it gives me the nice preview of that guy in there, and then I can go ahead and apply this. Um, you can also see that uh, I have the ability down here at the bottom um, to set some favorites, so that if I were to do this um, quite often, um, I could go ahead and put that in my uh, as a template, um, as this configuration, and then I could simply go ahead and reuse that uh, for other applications that I have by simply picking the hole, then picking that template, and it wouldn't take the time or wouldn't have to go through and uh, um, select all the items like I did. So um, once I de did that, you can see it went ahead and uh, added my uh, configuration there for me and it did it everywhere that that uh, hole was patterned. So again, um, utilizing the design accelerators uh, in Autodesk Inventor and the uh, bolted connection. And that wraps up today's CAD Geek Speak. Have a good one.